Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one that I'm really excited to film for you guys because today we are going to be doing my one brand tutorial on Tarte Cosmetics. So if you haven't seen it already, I will leave my other one brand tutorial which was on Dose of Colors down below in the description bar as well as my two Tarte hauls that all of these products have come from. So if you're interested in seeing that, then just continue watching. So inside of this bag, I've got a ton of unused Tarte stuff, which you would have seen in those holes already, but this is completely full to the brim. I've also got another two boxes down there, as well as all of these makeup cases. I've got like six of them up here that are completely filled with products. So if you couldn't tell, we've got a ton of stuff to play with. Okay, so starting off with what's on my skin at the moment, I started off with some Tarte skincare. So I cleansed using the Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. I then sprayed my face with the Marine Boosting Mist. I then applied this moisturizer here, which is the Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. And then I applied some of the Tarte Maracuja Sea Brightener Eye Treatment. I've also got a little bit of this on my lips. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Lip Saver Treatment Primer. So next I primed using these two primers. The first one is the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer, which I've got in this area right here, pretty much just all in my T-zone. And then on the rest of the skin, I've got the Tarte Poreless Mattifying Primer as well. So at the moment, I'm currently doing a first impression on this foundation right here. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 22G Light Golden. It's currently what I've got on my skin right now. So I'll leave my first impression up here if you haven't seen it already. And then I'm wearing three different shades of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So I've got the shade Light Sand underneath my eyes, 27S Light Medium Sand around my blemishes, and then I contoured using the shade Deep. And then I lastly set my skin with both of these powders. So I've got the Tarte Blot Party On The Go Mattifiers in my T-zone and underneath the eyes. And then I'm wearing the Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Tinted Pressed Finishing Powder in the shade Light Everywhere Else. So next for powder contour, I wanted to try out this mini palette right here. This is the Tartus Pro Glow To Go palette. Here is what the palette looks like. As you can see, it is the perfect palm size palette. I love that packaging. It is so pretty. And then on the inside, it's got three different products which look like this. So I went right ahead and just swatched it for us. So I actually thought the middle shade was a banana powder, but it turns out they're both highlights. The top one looks a little bit more intense, but the middle one is still a highlighter and the bottom one is a contour powder. So to apply that, I'm going to try out this brush right here. This is the Tarte The Slenderizer Bamboo Contouring Brush. So this is what the brush looks like. It is such an interesting shape for a contour brush. I feel like the bottom is almost more of a dense kabuki. You can see it's almost more of an oval shape. And then the top is like an angled powder brush. So we'll see how we go, but it's a really interesting shape. I wouldn't have initially thought it would be best for contour. So I'm going to start by taking the angled side, and I'm actually going to take the tip of the angle straight into the shade Chisel. These are very, very powdery, so make sure you tap off your brush. And I'm going to try and lightly start carving out my cheek. So there's the powder on half the face. I feel like it definitely does work, but this brush is such an interesting shape. I feel like it works best if you get the powder on the outskirts or just on the tip, and then you kind of brush it back and forth and try to get the brush to blend for you. But I feel like this would be better as an under eye setting brush or more of a blush brush. And then this one, I feel like I haven't tried it yet, but I feel like it'd be a really good under eye setting brush or once again for concealer, but we'll see how we go. I'll try it maybe for highlight maybe, because I think that would work a little better. So for highlight, I'm going to grab the other side of the brush and I'm going to mix the top two shades. And I'm going to take that on the top of my cheekbone. So for bronzer, I really want to try out this product right here. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. So here is what the packaging looks like. I mean, do you see how gorgeous this packaging is? It looks like tinfoil with embossed writing on it. It is so, so pretty. I'm in love. And then to top it off, the inside of the bronzer looks so pretty too. It kind of looks like the desert or something. I'm so in love with that. So I cannot wait to try it out. So to apply it, I might try out this brush right here. This is the Tarte swirl power cheek brush so we'll see how we go with it so I'm going to take that straight into the powder this one doesn't seem as powdery as the one from the palette and I'm going to go right ahead and start adding some warmth to my cheek Oh yeah, that's really nice. I also like this brush with it funnily enough. I feel like it's just really fast and it's really soft 
So for blush, I wanted to try out the one from this collection right here. This is the Tarte Cue the Confetti Party Collection. And the blush inside of here is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in B-Day Bay for a cheeky flush. This packaging, are you kidding? The top is kind of like a foiled over sequin frozen moment. It is so pretty. And then the packaging itself is like this copper rose gold, which we all know I have an obsession with. And then the inside, yeah. 100%, I'm gonna love it. Look at that color. It is perfect. It is me in a pot. I need this on my face right now. <laughs> so since I don't have a Tarte blush brush to apply the blush with, I'm gonna go right ahead and use the Real Techniques 400 blush brush, which looks like this. So I'm gonna tap straight into the blush and I'm gonna go right ahead and apply that to the cheeks. I love that color. It is so pretty. So I went right ahead and I zoomed you guys in so we can start on the eyeshadow. But I really want to play with this five pan palette that came in the same set as the blush. I mean, this packaging alone looks right up my alley. And I feel like all the colors on the inside really make sense. And I feel like I would use every single one of those in there. So I'm excited to play with this one right here. So seeing as I only have one eyeshadow brush from Tarte, I'm going to use this one later on, but I'll pop it down for the minute. And I think I'm going to take my Dose of Colors blending brush straight into this shade right here. The second one from the end called Sprinkles. And I'm going to pop that one straight through the crease. I'm going to take the exact same shade with this brush right here. This is the Dose of Colors flat definer. And I'm going to start pressing it underneath the eye. So next I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to grab this shade here on the end, which I think is called Candles, with the Jewel Ended Tarte Brush. And I'm going to grab that on the fluffier side. And I'm going to start darkening my outer corner. So next I'm going to take the second shade over which is this really pretty pink right here which is called Celebrate and I'm going to take that on the flat side of the brush and I'm just going to start popping that on the inner half of my lid. So it's actually quite a subtle shade so I might just take the same shade with my finger and see if I can pack that on my lid. So to help blend the two shades together, I'm going to take the middle shade right here, which is called Present, with the fluffy side of that jewel-ended brush. And I'm just going to start pushing that in between the two shades. And then to help tie the cheeks into the eyes, I might just take the first brush that we used, the big fluffy brush from Dose of Colors, and tap into the blush. And I'm just going to run that over all the edges. So I just cleaned off that same brush and I'm going to take that first shade in the palette which is called Wish and I'm going to apply it underneath the brow bone. So yeah, I do think I like the palette. I would say it's probably best for fair, light, or even light to medium skin tones. I think if you were even slightly darker than me, you wouldn't be able to get use out of at least three quarters of the palette. I feel like even the shade in the center actually translates a lot lighter than you think it would. But I feel like for somebody of my complexion or lighter, it is quite pretty. But I think, to be honest, if you were any darker than me, it wouldn't be worth it. So to amp up the eyes, I might actually try this product right here. This is the Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot in the shade Paradise Found. The packaging of this is so pretty. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous is that? Oh, I see. Okay, how do I show you this without tipping it all over me? Do you see how it's really, really loosely packed in there? So I might actually go right ahead and just pop the stopper in there straight away. And I might just go right ahead and just take what's left in the cap on the Real Techniques shading brush. And I'm going to start stamping that all over the lid. Yeah, do you see how much more intense that is? And that's completely dry. It's not even wet yet. So I'm going to layer it up a little bit more. And then I might go in with one more product because I really want to intensify that lid. This is the Tartus Pro Glitter Liner in the shade Rose Gold. 
So this is what it looks like. As you can see on the top, it's kind of more of a shimmery metallic color. And then the bottom is kind of more of a liquefied glitter. So I'm excited to try this one out. This is what the applicator looks like. As you can see, it's a liner brush. So I'm gonna go right ahead and just start painting that on the lid. And then I'm gonna take that same short smudger brush and I'm just gonna blend that out. And then flipping it over, I'm gonna grab the glitter side and I'm gonna go right ahead and just add some glitter to the lid too. Yeah, that is so pretty and reflective. I'm in love. So next for liner and lashes, I picked up this set right here. This is the Tarte Dash of Lash Eye Set and it comes with the Kitten Eyeliner, the Tartus Glue, a set of lashes and then a mini Tartus Mascara as well. I might put the mascara aside because I still have this one from the Cue the Confetti Party Set. So you can see this is the Tarte Light Camera Lashes Mascara in limited edition packaging. It is so pretty. So I think I'll use that one first and then I'll save this one for next time. But I'm going to go right ahead and I'm going to start off with the eyeliner. So here's what the packaging looks like. It is so cute. I mean, look at the little kitten on the top. That is adorable. This is the Tarte Kitten Liner, and this one right here is a felt tip. So you can see it's really nice and sharp, which I like. So I'm going to go right ahead and just start doing my liner. Yeah, I like this liner. It's really nice and dark and I find that it was really nice and easy to apply because it's super thin. So yeah, I like that. So I'm going to go right ahead and apply some mascara. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara in limited edition packaging. So here is what the one looks like. So you can see it's quite small and quite fluffy. I actually really like this mascara. I waited for the first coat to completely dry and now I'm doing my second one to the tops. And I feel like upon the second coat, it is really, really thickening. So if I look to the side, here's the one with two coats. And then here's the one with only one. So you can see one coat is quite natural and fluffy, but two coats is really thick. So, so far I really like it. But the real test would be to see if it smudges or smears throughout the day. But so far, I really like this mascara. It's really thickening, a little bit lengthening, but really volumizing, which I really enjoy. So next for lashes, I've got this set right here that comes in the pack as well as the glue that comes with it. But I just had a look at the back of the box and I can't seem to find where the name of the lashes are. It just says false lashes, eyeliner, mascara, and it tells you the glue, but I can't seem to find the name of it. So I'll leave them down below in the description bar if they do have a proper name. So here's a close up of the lashes. As you can see, they're kind of that 3D mink fluffy set. They're really, really pretty. So I cannot wait to try these out. So I went right ahead and just trimmed the lashes. Always keep the ends because I love to use them as little corner lashes. They come in handy. So I've gone right ahead and just trimmed them. And then I'm going to try out the lash adhesive. So this is the Tartus Pro Lash Adhesive. It's also one of those tinted lash adhesives. So this one goes straight on black. So I'm not sure how long to wait because normally with a regular lash adhesive, there's a bit of an indicator. So normally you can tell if the consistency changes or sometimes the color changes. Because this goes straight on black and it so far seems to stay black, I might go right ahead and just apply them straight on without waiting too long. Oh yeah, these lashes are so pretty. Are you kidding? Normally the lashes that you get in these kind of like pre-made kits aren't very nice, but wow, these are a nice set of lash. Oh, I'm very excited about those. Hmm. So next for brows, I've got this brow pencil right here. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil in the shade Rich Brown. So I'm gonna start off by brushing my brows up using the spoolie that comes attached to the pencil. And I'm gonna start filling in some hairs. Yeah, you guys, I really don't mind that brow pencil. I feel like also the color isn't too bad because I thought it was too dark, but I feel like the more I look at it, the more I can get used to it. So let me know what you think, but so far, I like it. And then to set them in place, I've got this product right here. This is the Tarte Colored Clay Tinted Brow Gel. This is in the shade Black Brown. Oh my gosh, wow. That is the absolute tiniest little brow brush I've ever seen in my life. That is literally microscopic. 
Do you even see that? That is so cute. Oh, so I'm gonna go right ahead and just lightly brush that into the brow. I feel like it's definitely a brown. I feel like black brown sounds a little bit scary, but it definitely looks like a chocolate brown. Yeah, I think I like that. I'll definitely get some really good use out of that one. And then lastly for lips, I'm going to start off with some lip liner. This is the Tartus Lip Crayon in the shade Boho. So in case you're wondering, this is a retractable lip liner. It is such a pretty pink. I feel like that will go really nicely with this look. So next for lip color, I'm going to go in with a liquid lipstick. This is the Tartus Lip Paint in the shade Pillow Talk. So it comes with a little doe foot. So here's what it looks like. And then I'm going to go right ahead and just swatch it on my hand for you. Yeah, it's a really, really light pink. So I'm going to go really light handed with this one. And then I'm going to take the lip liner and just blend the two together. And then the last thing that I really want to try is this product right here. This is a little bit of a cheap product because it's actually Sugar Rush. It's not just Tarte. But this is the Tarte and Sugar Rush Lip Slip Vegan Lip Oil in the shade Fresh Pressed. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is so cute. I don't know if it's the colors or if it's just the fact that it looks like it's got a belt on. But it reminds me of aerobics class, like aerobics back in the 70s. I don't know why. It is so cute. I'm so into it. So I'm going to take a little bit of that product and pop it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to take that on my finger and just apply it on the lips. Yeah, they feel really nice. They're not sticky, but they don't feel like an oil would. Like, they feel like a thicker, almost like balmy Vaseline texture. They feel quite thick, but they're not sticky, which I think is quite nice. And then lastly, to lock everything in, I'm going to try this product right here. This is the Tarte Stay Spray Setting Spray. This is what the packaging looks like. It is so cute. I love how they have a literal bottle on the side of it. And then on the back, it says, Locks makeup in place for 16 hours, transfer proof, weightless and micro fine, and it's got cucumber and aloe extract. So I'm going to give this one a bit of a go. Yeah, this packaging is so pretty. I love the colors. I love that it's just a little bit different. Like it doesn't look like your regular setting spray. So I'm going to shake her up and I'm going to set my face. Definitely smells a little bit like cucumber, which is really nice. So yeah, guys, this is the finished one brand tutorial featuring Tarte Cosmetics. I am so in love with the way that it turned out. I love the glitter on the eyes. It really just pops. The lashes are super pretty and wispy. I love this blush. It might be my favorite thing we've tried so far. And the lip is really, really pretty too. Even the brows, I think, turned out really well. And I feel like it's all just come together super nicely. And I just feel really confident in it. So let me know what you think of this video down below in the comment bar. Because if you did enjoy it, we have so many other things that we have barely touched into you can see this whole entire clear case is still completely full we've barely made a dent so I've got all the stuff that is in here as well as all the stuff in the boxes and the stuff in the makeup cases too so I reckon we've probably got another four or so full face one brand tutorials featuring Tarte so let me know if you're interested in seeing more of these but I had so much fun creating this look let me know what you think of it down below in the comment bar and tag me if you decide to recreate this but if you did enjoy it you guys know what to do please feel free to leave me a like comment and leave any requests that you have down below in the comment bar subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and drag it all the way down to old become a part of this family and be notified of all my future videos and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys so if you haven't seen it already i've done one other full face brand once again the sh as you can see, it's a heck same set. The cue the party. What's it called? Cue the confetti. More of like a dense kabuki. Same set. The cue the party can shoot. Cold candles. It's hard to hold on with sweaty fingers. So next for liner and lashes, I picked up this set right. Here. I'm shaking. Once again, this is the sex kitten. Oh, they got rid of the. The word sex on it, did they? Hmm. So this is what the liner, the liner, 
So this is what the liner looks like. So this is what the liner looks like. And then to lock them in place, I might go in with a little bit of the Tarte Colored Glade. 